Welcome back guys. Today I'm answering a question that nobody's been asking me about. What's in my flight bag? In case you missed our last video, Flight Outfitter sent me a bunch of stuff to review and they told me keep what you want and give away the rest. But what I decided to keep was this guy. Everyone's flight bag is unique and purpose built to their type of flying. So yeah, let me just show you mine. First up, this is the Flight Outfitters Lift Flight Bag. And this is slightly bigger than the Flight Bag Mini, which we have right back here. I had a couple more things that I wanted to put in it that didn't quite fit in that. And that is a remarkable bag and I almost kept it, but this one just gave me a little bit more flexibility that I wanted to have. And no, I haven't cut the tag off of it yet. I, I should probably do that. I have been flying with this thing even. Let's go ahead and start digging in, starting with the front pouch. I have some extra paper to be able to write on in case I need some. In here, oh yeah, some expired sectionals, but hey, you know what? Better to have something than nothing at all if all of my electronic flight bag stuff was to fail. So um, nothing else inside of this front pouch for me. We're gonna go ahead and come in here into the center. And this is where I have my Lightspeed headset. And uh, I might be upgrading this one soon to the new Delta Zulu, but this is just the Zulu 3. I absolutely love this one. I fly with it all the time. Nothing else is inside of that portion of the bag, but let's skip to the outside. So over here where you would generally put a cup, go ahead and put this fuel tester. Um, I like using this one because it has the mesh up here, which means I can put the fuel back in the airplane. Over here we have this little link, which is the one that is meant for putting the shoulder strap on, but it's a great place to be able to just throw my flashlight. Easy access, can just grab it, easy to put on and off. I like putting that there. Over on the side here, I've got my fuel stick. And I carry a fuel stick for the aircraft that I fly, especially the 172. And when you're in a club or something like that, these things tend to disappear. And you're like, I really want to know how much fuel I have. So I carry my own. That's all I have on the exterior. Now, in the center of this bag, I have my knee board, which this is not from Flight Outfitters because I want to order their other one. <laughs> this is one I've been using for years and it's worked very good for me. I've got everything set up the way that I want it, but their other uh, little tiny knee board is gonna work great for me because my iPad that I fly with is gonna very quickly be coming a main flight device inside of my uh, Red Rocket build. But also in the center pouch is my logbook. Yeah, nothing special about this. It is my favorite logbook though, because it breaks things down inside of a unique way that makes it easier to add up. And my instructor had never seen one like this and he was very pleased with how it definitely separated out all cross country and cross country over 50 nautical miles, which is the requirement when you're going for your instrument rating and such. So a uh, good little logbook from Gleam Climb. I like this one. I actually ordered another one and I get to use it as soon as I run out of this one. Nothing else really left inside there, so we're gonna go to this back side. And back here, I've got some goods. So utilizing all the pouches and things in here, first off, I have my CO detector. This is important to me. I did get exposed to CO in flight, and uh, thankfully I was just uh, suffering from the symptoms. I was able to safely get back on the ground, but I do have a story about that that I'll link down below. Next, a blood oxygen level sensor. Uh, this is important to me because most people don't realize Arizona is high altitude. Phoenix itself is only 1,500 feet, but the places that I fly to, Payson, Sedona, Flagstaff, all high altitude, and I'm cruising at 10,000 plus feet. There was one time that I was flying with my wife and she started getting a big headache, and it wasn't until after we landed that it went away, and we realized her blood oxygen level was probably low. And we would have been able to know, had I had this inside the airplane, I carry this now for me and any of my passengers just so we can verify what's going on and if we need to descend to a lower altitude. In the little zipper pouch here, I've got a battery backup. Digital flight bags, I don't always trust the uh, <laughs> plugs that are inside of an airplane. A lot of them have adapters and stuff. I just bring a charged battery with me if I need to plug in my iPad or my phone. These are good to have. They last a really long time. Even if you forget to charge them, they do do a lot. I like this one in particular. It has a lot of milliamp hours and it is small. Also has a little indicator up on the top that tells me how many uh, bars of power it still has. And you can see this one's already full and I haven't charged it in quite a while. Next up on these little pouches down here. Yep, just an extra set of batteries, nothing special. And down here is a multi-tool. Now, 
I didn't spend a lot of money on this multi-tool. I just wanted something that was functional for me. This one's gonna give me the pliers. It's gonna give me a little set of scissors, a little knife. Just the things that I feel like I'm going to need inside of a situation and nothing more. All right, I have this pouch back here for another important thing from Flying Eyes. Sunglasses are always important. I wear my prescription glasses from Flying Eyes all the time and I just use my clip-ons. And so I have two sets of clip-ons, one I keep with the airplane and one I keep inside of my car because sometimes I forget one. I always wanna make sure that I have a set of sunglasses while I'm flying. All right, so that's really all that's it. That's what I carry with me when I go flying. It's not a whole lot. It's just the essentials to what I feel like I'm gonna need. Now, if I'm going on a longer flight, of course I'm gonna take more things and definitely make sure that my charts are up to date. But going to Sedona, Payson, usually I'm just running out for breakfast or to take my kids to lunch, pick up a pie, something fun like that, or just do general sightseeing. And this really is all that I'm gonna need for that. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out Flight Outfitters for sure. They've got a lot of great products and things that I think that you will find useful. Again, check out our giveaway because we're gonna be doing a couple more of those and we're almost out of stuff from Flight Outfitters. But as always, share aviation wherever you can and we'll see you in the next one.